Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be sharing my experience with the MX Keys Mini from Logitech, which I've been using as my daily driver since I transitioned to a hybrid work arrangement. Could this be the ultimate keyboard for hybrid work? Let's find out. The MX Keys Mini is a condensed version of the popular MX Keys wireless keyboard. It forgoes the numpad and navigation keys in favor of a smaller and more portable form factor that is not too far off from Apple's own Magic Keyboard. Apart from the form factor, it keeps all of the functions and customizability of its larger predecessor, which makes it a great option if you're trying to save space on your desk or in your backpack. The scissor switch keys have a nice tactile feedback that makes for a great typing experience, with just a little bit more resistance and travel compared to Apple keyboards. The circular dent and spacing between the keys should assist in typing accuracy and feel natural when resting your fingertips on the board. You won't find adjustable feet here but the low profile design and slight angle make it so typing is comfortable even without a wrist rest. The rubber tabs underneath keep it firmly in place when typing at max speed. Up to three devices can be paired via Bluetooth or with Logitech's unifying USB receiver, which oddly enough does not come in the package. If you already have a mouse from their MX line though, you should be covered and it's also sold separately. The best feature and probably the main reason people will choose this keyboard over its competitors is the added functionality available through the Logi Options app. It lets you define custom actions for the function row which can be unique for every application. You can also enable Logitech Flow which when paired with a compatible MX mouse lets you transfer your keyboard and mouse controls across multiple computers simply by moving the mouse pointer from one screen to the next. This feature works across Mac and PC in case you are running both. This keyboard has a proximity sensor that turns on the backlighting as soon as your hands approach the keyboard and cuts the light off when you move away to preserve the battery. Logitech claims up to 5 months use on a single charge if you keep the backlights off and a respectable 10 days with the lights turned on. The device charges via USB-C but is strictly for charging only, so you can't use it as a wired keyboard. With all of the specs and features out of the way, let's talk about who this keyboard is for. If you're a hybrid worker that has to carry your gear between your home, your office, or your favorite coffee shop, then you can definitely get a lot of value from a compact keyboard because it takes up less space in your bag and on the table. If you work on multiple devices simultaneously, then you'll be glad to hear that it pairs well with Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, and can toggle between these devices with a push of a button. If you already use an MX mouse, you can also take full advantage of Logitech Flow to switch your keyboard pairing along with your mouse for a seamless experience across multiple computers. And lastly, the sleek design make it a great addition to your desk if you're going for that minimal and professional look. Personally, I've been enjoying the MX Keys Mini for all of the reasons I just stated, and apart from the USB receiver not being included in the package, I've yet to have any complaints with this device. If you have any questions or just want to share your experience with this keyboard, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Links will be down in the description if you're interested in picking up one for yourself. This video was not sponsored but using my links will help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next one.